Artists doing what they do best, entertaining the crowd. Hundreds of local content producers descended on the SABC offices countrywide for an engagement with Chief Operating Officer Claudi Motuneng. Over the years, independent producers have raised concerns over bureaucratic red tape in the commissioning of programs. The SABC has embarked on a major drive to source more of its content locally. The introduction of more channels on digital terrestrial television will ensure there's a platform for more independent producers to put their creative work forward. You see, when you serve a public broadcaster, you serve people. You don't serve people that you know. Because you as people who are creative, people who are coming with content, your content should speak for itself. You should not come with favors for anyone. someone having 20 uh, 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 content on SABC, different uh, content, but it's only one individual. A message supported by the highest office. The Department of Trade and Industry has established the Black Emerging Filmmakers Fund, which aims to assist in bridging the inequality gap for filmmakers in South Africa. In addition, the department will, in the next few months, place two bills, the Protection of Intellectual Property Bill and the Performers' Rights Protection Bill before Parliament. Independent producers have welcomed the developments. I think it's a good initiative and we want to keep it practical for the generation to come behind us. It is an amazing initiative. What SABC has done, it shows that it cares about us and it has our interest at heart, of which uh, telling our own stories the way we want. We depend on you. And the day I'm going to enjoy my life is when I see all African languages are catered for in all these platforms. Last month, the SABC announced the launch of language-based TV channels aimed at serving viewers in the languages of their choice.